Hey everybody, it's Extension today with Anna Kay, and today we're covering the Extension Hive to Honey workshop. So let's go get busy going on here today. Yeah, so we are doing a Hive to Honey workshop here in Montgomery County, Alabama, and it is for the general public to come out and learn everything from uh, how to raise bees, what it takes, what the life of a beekeeper looks like as well, um, and what you can do with their products from the honey to the wax to the pollen and the benefits that it can give you. So people are coming out to learn and hopefully figure out how they can grow bees or plant for bees, maybe if their neighbor's a beekeeper. And it's just a fun way to learn. So get involved with your extension office and come out to some garden programs because we're having them all over the state every day. Okay, so this is my most favorite part of these workshops. The food! The food! We're excited to Tell us about it. All right, we are Hive to Honey workshop. It's real important, our details are, so we're very detail-oriented. We have this beautiful blueberry arugula salad. That looks yummy. We have this fantastic uh, vinaigrette uh, honey is its sweetener as well with some Dijon mustard and Ooh. olive oil. And then our crowning touch is going to be our um, pecans here. And then we have some violas, so flowers because we're master gardeners. Gardeners. So got to always have those flowers. <laughs> Cinnamon honey shortbread cookies. We have a honeycomb design as well as the honeybee design. And I want you to try it. So Let's go for can. it. All right. I'll take the one with the honeycomb. Okay. I love cookies, so let's go. That is delicious. Okay, now that you've tried our honey cookie, I want you to wash it down with some of our wonderful honey lemonade. Now, I'm so you, excited. This took us three hours of squeezing all of these lemons. Oh, so I bet it's delicious. So, yes, it is fantastic. Oh, it already just looks good. Okay, so, I'm so excited, guys. So this has your fresh lemon, fresh lemon zest, and then it has honey to sweeten it, as well as... The, some sparkling water and then some lime in it. This is amazing. Okay guys, so now it's time for a little arts and crafts. We have a pollinator watering kit that I'm gonna put together. So let's see if this goes without me breaking any glass in here. It is a pollinator station, so it'll attract butterflies and it'll also attract bees. So we're gonna put a solution of water and salt, about a gallon of water to about a teaspoon of salt. Right here is a plate. Inside the plate are several things that are going to allow the bee or butterfly to land on it. And then they'll be able to crawl down and get them a little sip of water without drowning. And then they'll be able to fly away. We so, don't want to drown them. We, we don't do want to drown them. So these are not glued down so that you can take this and wash it and put them back in and put new fresh water oh. in. And then we're going to turn it over on your plate and let it sit there for about 24 hours to get really nice and glued down before we ever try to use it. Okay, slow and steady. Slow and steady. We're going to turn it over onto the bottom of our plate. We're going to try to center it. I'm going to help you out here. That looks I'm thinking that this is going to be my mom's Mother's Day present, so y'all really helped me out. Glad to help. Okay, everybody, that wraps up this segment of Extension today with Anna Kay. And if you're curious about what kind of workshops are happening around you, make sure you check out our calendar at aces.edu.